Let's go scratch. Let's scratch my most person here. Well, here is Beeline again. What's up? And welcome back to another Star Wars Battlefront video, guys. Um, well, today, guys, I'm going to be doing another um, top five video. And today, guys, I'm going to be doing a top five Star Wars Battlefront 2 video, guys. Um, now, if you guys aren't into my channel, punch that subscribe button, guys. Punch that like button, guys. And um, also turn on notifications to join the notification gang. And yes, dudes, let's get straight into this video for my top five picks of heroes I want to see in Star Wars Battlefront 2. So yeah, dudes, um, the first hero, um, I would like in Star Wars Battlefront 2, um, is most likely Poe Dameron. Now, the reason why I would like, um, Thor in, um, Star Wars, um, Battlefront 2, since it's, um, all three eras, like the Clone Wars era, the original trilogy, and the, um, new trilogy, um, I would like Poe Dameron mostly... Because, um, basically, I'd most li mostly like him, guys, because he's, like, the resist- Basically, like, one of the best resistance pilots, um, in, um, the era- In, like, the, um, Star Wars franchise. Um, I'm not even sure if he's better than Luke Skywalker, but he might be. Um, and, um, um, so, yeah, basically, Poe Dameron, um, he's also a resistance leader, I guess you can say. And, um... Yeah, he's um, pretty good with some pretty good. He's pretty good with some nicely equipped stuff. Um, he also has he will probably have his clone blaster rifle like he did in Star Wars: Force Awakens, guys. Um, also, I will put um, spoiler alert in the very beginning of this video. Um, so yeah, dudes, um, that is Poe Dameron for the number five pick. Let's move on to the number fourth pick. So the number fourth pick, guys, I would like to have is Anakin Skywalker. Now. This is, um, pretty cool. Now, you can have them basically, like, on the Separatist Alliance or the uh, Galactic Republic, most likely the Galactic Republic, um, since the Separatist Alliance did not exist much after Anakin Skywalker became Darth Vader. Now, the reason why I would like him to be an, a hero, to be a hero is because mostly he is a Jedi that turns into Darth Vader, and basically he was one of the most powerful Jedi that lived. Not as powerful as Yoda, but pretty powerful, none other than less. And still, though, he, um, basically, he turned much more powerful, um, until his son, Luke Skywalker, defeated him in Star Wars Episode Three: Return of the Jedi. Now, basically, that is kind of the reason why I choose Anakin Skywalker, because he can also, um, par ways, or, like, he can also, like, be... Um, like have a clone army basically next to his side um, who is also my number one pick um, which you guys probably all know so That is Anakin Skywalker for my number fourth pick. Let's move on to my number third pick Now guys my number third pick I have to say is probably gonna be Plo Koon now The reason why is because Plo Koon was a very good clone or, um, not a clone. He had good clones, um, good mind-thinking clones, like Commander Wolf and stuff, so it would be nice to play, um, as him and have, like, him be able to go in and ex- um, like, one of those Starfighters War from the Clone Wars, um, era that they had, and basically just have Commander Wolf follow you around and help you and stuff, and basically Commander Wolf is invincible because he is too overpowered, um, and yeah, basically, that he is invincible, so, and he is also a Jedi Master, so basically he can, I'm not sure if he's a knight or a master, I was just guessing that he was a Jedi Master, because, um, that's what I watched, um, from the internet, that's what I checked, and I saw that he was a Jedi Master, so guys, um, let's move on to my number second pick, um, which is, oh, so the number third pick, guys, was Plo Koon. let's move on to the number second pick, which you guys are going to like this. Now, guys, the 212th Clone Battalion had many clones that were pretty skilled in the arts. I think one of the most skilled ones who was um, sided with Obi-Wan Kenobi all the time, um, also known as Ben Kenobi, who, who is known as Commander Cody. Now, he is the lead, one of the leaders of the 212th Battalion, and he is also, guys, honestly, I think he is one of the fan-favorite clones out there. Um, as well as Commander Wolf, Captain Rex, Commander Gregor, and all that. And so basically, um, he's the leader of the 212th Battalion. He's a very skilled fighter. He's able to command his troops um, without them disagreeing and all of that. And let's move on to the number one pick, guys, which you guys are going to love this. So the number second pick was Commander Cody. 
Let's move on to the number first pick. Now, guys, my number first pick, I have to say, is Captain Rex. Now, honestly, guys, Captain Rex is probably one of the smartest and longest living clones in the clone army. Of course, though, um, um, Rex is still alive um, in Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Because, you yeah, guys, if you um, actually saw Star Wars Return of the Jedi, you would have known that he was actually in that movie. If you um, saw the thing, because there was like a sneak peek, and you would have been able to see old Rex wearing some rebel armor instead of his clone armor. I don't know why he wasn't wearing his clone armor. Probably because the clones didn't exist at the time of Star Wars Episode Three being made. Um, well, they did, but they didn't. So, you guys should know what I mean. And also, um, he has a cool helmet, which is pretty cool, because imagine um, wearing Captain Rex's helmet all the time, going on battles and stuff. And so, um, so yeah, dudes, let's move on um, from that um, thing to the next thing, which is he is an experienced clone and is one of probably a legend to the clone army. Um, and he is pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. And he also has some pretty cool gear, like he has that, um, I'm not sure if it's Mandalorian, but he has that little visor that he can put down over his eye, like, um, Boba Fett did. Like the, um, what's it called? The, um, binocular eyepiece thing. And that's pretty cool. So, imagine being able to command the 501st, aka Vader's Fist, before they turn, of course, on the Jedi and the big Jedi purge happens. Imagine just being able to command a battalion of super clones, basically. So, yes, dudes, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this top five heroes pick. I would like in Star Wars Battlefront 2, guys, if you would like to see another one of these videos, another top five video, except top five hero, top five villains I would like to see in Star Wars Battlefront 2 from every era, or if you would like me to just spick, um, skip or go to, like, stay specific on one era, like, one video can be the Clone Wars era, the other video can be, um, the Force Awakens era, and then the one after that can be the original trilogy, if you want that. And, um, yeah, it'll, it'll be a pretty good idea, actually, to do that. I might just do that instead, so, um, if you guys do want that to happen, um, hit the like button on this video, guys. Um, and yes, dudes, um, you might as well just watch this gameplay continue, because it's, it's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. So, hope you guys enjoyed, um... My name is Chris, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.